cost less than $10 to produce a bowel of insulin and you're charging $300? How did that flip by the government? Tavia was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 2011. She was 16 years old. In the beginning, it was easy for us. She had secondary insurance. It's called BCMH, Bureau of Children Medical Handicaps. It's only in Ohio, but she aged out of it. It's only up to the age of 21. And she made too much money for Medicaid. She started rationing her insulin in 2017 when I switched jobs. At that time, I hadn't met my deductible. So when she went to the pharmacy, her copay for insulin was over $500. She was on two. It was over $1,000 per month. We tried to help as much as we could. I just wish we could have done more. either pay your rent, pay your car payment, or pay, get your medication. Their policies literally are killing people who cannot afford the medicine that is needed. I was at work and my son called me. It was about 11 o'clock. Him and his granny went over to where she was staying because she hadn't answered her phone the day before. And he went upstairs and he said that she wasn't moving, she wasn't breathing. And I'm like, no, no, I'm like, wake her up. It just still didn't dawn on me that my baby was gone. The coroner came and I knew it, it was, she, she was gone. And they brought her out in a black bag. She passed when she was 22, the day before her sister's 21st birthday. She passed away in her sleep of DKA. Diabetes, ketoacidosis. And it's where there's a high level of sugar in your bloodstream and it builds up as toxins. I actually carry her on my keychain. I am the founder of T1 Diabetes Journey Incorporated. I started my organization in honor of Intavia to raise awareness in the community, helping diabetics who need help with copay assistance or a diet regimen or just guidance. We want to save lives. We don't want people to die because they can't afford their health care. There are 30 million Americans out there affected by this chronic illness who cannot afford a life-sustaining medication that they need to live because of price gouging by these pharmaceutical companies. It's really hard to try to live and take care of your family working in America. It is very hard. And the jobs, they don't understand. Well, they understand, but they don't care. They're worried about their profit. They don't care about families. She worked very hard, but it still wasn't enough to live. 